MDF doors can be machined to look like a raised panel door, like a shaker door. They can be, be uh, machined to look like just about any other kind of door, but they're made out of one piece, out of one material. And so what that does is that gives you a consistent flat product with no gaps and no cracks in it. So when it paints, it paints really, really well, and it's going to look really well. Um, some of the drawbacks with MDF, if you do damage it, if you damage the paint, uh, and get down to where you're back to the raw MDF and then you start getting moisture in that area, that MDF can wick that moisture in and it'll swell and it'll cause more issues. So what I tell my customers simply is, uh, we do a lot of MDF doors on our CNC for our customers and if you do damage the surface, if you get down to where you, for whatever reason, you have some kind of a, a, an incident that damages the paint and now you're down to the bare MDF, bring that in to us. Allow us to repaint that door and get it back to you again because then it'll keep performing like it needs to. Um, once you get to the point where you damage that surface, and this really happens whether it's MDF or whether it's raw wood, it could be maple, it could be poplar, it doesn't really matter. Once you get down to bare wood and you keep getting moisture on there, it's gonna soak that water into the door behind the paint and it's gonna push that paint off from the backside and cause it to continue to fail. So really at that point, if you do have an incident, those things happen, get them back to the person that did the refinishing for you in the first place, allow them to do a repair on that door professionally and get that back to you so that it can continue to perform. Because really at that point, once you start compromising that coating on there, you're gonna to continue to have failure that's gonna increase and it's gonna get worse over time. It'll never get better. So it's best to take that and, and take that into consideration right away, get it repaired and then get it back into your house and let it, uh, let it do its job. So anyways, that's my video for, the, for today on frames and panels. Um, just if you have any questions, obviously let me know. I can try to explain anything a little more thoroughly than I have, but that should give you a good uh, core knowledge of how the door construction is uh, and what happens with that frame and panel gap and how to uh, kind of handle the expansion and the contraction over the seasons. Thanks, bye.